Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to cover all of the various destinations you can deliver your reports to. So <clears throat> you can access your destinations in two ways either through the properties of a schedule or during the wizard where you're creating the schedule. In the destinations section you'll see a list of all of the destinations where your reports are heading to. In this particular schedule, my report's heading off to email. You'll notice on the left that there's a checkbox where I can check on and check off that particular destination. If the box is checked, the report will be delivered via, destina that, via that destination, in this case, email. If it's unchecked, we'll ignore that particular destination and continue on with any others that you have listed. If you want to add a destination to your schedule, Simply click Add, and then you can access the list of destinations possible. From the drop-down list, simply pick the destinations. What we'll do is we'll go down one by one. First, if you were to select Disk, you actually can browse the particular folder where you want the report delivered. You can deliver a report either to a folder on your machine, or on a shared drive somewhere. Simply browse to it and select it. In this particular case, let's throw it to my desktop. All right. And you can continue adding destinations, disk destinations as needed. Some additional options. You say, for example, your machine is located outside of your business network. Well, by selecting this option, we can actually connect via VPN to your internal network to deliver the report to that drive as well. You can also enable Folder Housekeeping. Folder Housekeeping gives you the ability to automatically delete reports that are older than a certain amount of time. So say you could actually keep a report for seven days. And that's it for disk destination. Next up is by far the most popular, email. With email, you have the ability to send an email or email your report directly to a recipient. Just like writing an Outlook email, all you have to do is simply type in the email address and some other information as well. You can simply type in some static email. You can add a CC, a BCC email as well. If you do select any of these buttons, you actually have the option to import an address list from your MAPI address book, CRD's internal address book, a source from a database. Even we can read a text file and suck the email addresses from there as well. Or we can use a CRD constant. Next, just add a subject to your email, and then you can attach any file as well. The report by default will come attached too. Next, just give it a nice customized message. And then you can decide the formatting of the email. You can send a text-based email, which is pretty handy if you're trying to avoid anything getting caught in your spam filters to your recipients. Or you can do an HTML email or an HTML basic. If you were to do an HTML email, these options up here now become available. So then you can do things like controlling the bolding, the italics, and the font of the report, of the message rather. You can also add hyperlinks insert image links as well. You can even insert your own HTML code into the email itself, just making it more customized and making it look like it's coming directly to the customer as if you designed the entire email yourself, which you did. Next, if you don't want the report to be attached, you have the option to embed the report. Just check that box there and this area will become grayed out and your message would be rather replaced with an image of the report itself. 
Next up is you can select the particular mail server that you want it to be sent from. This is only handy if you have multiple mail servers that you want to be able to send reports from. Say for example, you want a you have a sales at christianstephen.com, you have a marketing at christianstephen.com, and you have an accounts at christianstephen.com. And you just want the ability to quickly snap between the two depending on the type of report that's being sent. And finally, you can do a delivery receipt. With a delivery receipt, once the, re the email has been delivered to the particular destination, you can actually run any number of tasks off the back of that using custom tasks. And finally, you can customize the sender details. So, rather than it coming from reports at Christian Stephen, you can actually have it say, come from Bob at Christian Stephen, and have that particular email address and name customized as well. If you only have one SMTP server, using any of these options aren't necessary. Next up is fax. One key requirement to be able to send a fax in CRD is that you have a V92 fax modem um, connected to your CRD machine. You can either A, import a phone number from one of your contacts, or you can simply manually type in the phone number here. You would then select your fax device, and then you can customize the cover page. You can even get a little fancier and use CRD constants to customize the fax page as well. Let's drag the current date and put it there. And that's it for faxing. Next up is FTP. FTP gives you the ability to deliver your reports via FTP or SFTP. Simply indicate your FTP server, authenticate to it, decide whether you're using FTP or secure FTP. Press the green down arrow and it will be added to the list of directories that the report will be delivered to. Finally, if you click the certificate button, you can deliver using client certificates or a proxy server as well. Next up is ODBC. With ODBC, you have the ability to deliver reports to a database. Simply select the particular DSN from the drop-down list, connect to that database, and name the table. If this table name already exists, by checking this box, we'll overwrite that table. Bear in mind, that action cannot be undone, so make sure you do it right. Next comes printer. We can deliver any report to a printer that's either directly connected to the machine or if it's on the network. The only requirement here is that the printer and the printing drivers have been installed and added to your list of printers on the CRD machine. Simply pick the printer from the drop down list and will automatically detect your list of printers. Press the green arrow and then now you can actually select the options for printing as well. You can use the Crystal Engine or the Default Printer Engine. The Crystal Engine tends to give you some additional options and you can make you can adjust the number of copies, orientation, paper size, and even the page ranges. And you can keep adding printers as you go. So that way you can actually print in bulk to send multi multiple copies to multiple printers. And that's printing. Next is SharePoint. SharePoint gives you the ability to deliver any of your reports via SharePoint to a SharePoint directory. Simply click Add. Put the name of your SharePoint directory. 
and then connect to it. From there, you then can actually review your SharePoint library data and also program in your field metadata. What's great about CRD is say for example you actually want to customize the file metadata for each and every file that's outputted. You can actually combine this ability with a say a data driven schedule and we can automatically suck in f file metadata from your database and populate your reports with that information in SharePoint. Next up is text messaging. With text messaging we can actually send your report as a text message to a cell phone. I like faxing if you click the to button you can actually import a contact that's already there or you can simply type in the fax number I mean the cell phone number. You can customize that text message a little bit further as well. And you click OK. Now also secondarily, if the number is not valid, we'll actually know that it's not and ask you to enter in the valid one. And that's it. Using all of these destinations, you can ensure that your reports go to wherever they need to be at the right time and the right place. Once you've added all of your destinations, they'll all be listed here and you can organize them by clicking the up and down green arrows accordingly. Moreover, if you click the import button, you can actually import a default destination as well. This is a destination that you've actually set up within the options menu of the software. It makes it quicker and easier to, send, to, to set up your schedules if those destinations are already set up. You can delete a destination at any time by clicking the delete button. Perfect. Well that's it for all the different destinations that are available in CRD. Feel free to hit us up anytime.